Hey guys, just giving you guys a review of uh, my experience with the Guardian table over in China. It's been some time since I played on it. Uh, I do uh, want to give a big shout out to the whole Guardian team, Johannes, uh, Lily, everybody involved that uh, gave me the free ride over there and uh, you know showed me what foosball was all about in China. It was a really amazing experience. Uh, the way that the the government catered to us and uh, protected us, treated us like rock stars was pretty amazing. Um, so it was definitely a, an experience that I have never felt before. Um, as far as the table goes, I uh, was v ultimately very surprised with uh, how well it played. Um, for being something that was kind of its first round or one of the first rounds, uh, it really, any style could play on that table. You could do any shot that you would want to do. Um, it really seemed like a very good universal table. And it seemed like a very good table for newer players. The way that the foot was designed, uh, the grip on the ball was was tremendous. Uh, but yet the face of the man was a little bit different than the back of the man. So it would still allow you to do pull shots and, and be able to squeeze the ball out when you're doing any kind of push kick, pull kick, or anything like that. Uh, the back side of the foot uh, had a lot of stubs, which essentially made grip uh, amazing. The ball in itself held up very well. Uh, it was very grippy, but once again, you were able to still do any kind of shot that you could do on, say, Tornado for us. Um, and at the same time, any European could do anything on that table that they would do on any other table. Um, you know, uh, really overall, as far as um, all the foosball tables I've played on, I would say that it's definitely in my top three as far as um, tables that I'd like to play on. Um, and, you know, those three tables would probably be, obviously, Tornado, uh, you would have Leo, and then you'd have um, you'd have the Guardian right there in the top three. So, uh, Guardian may even be number two on that list. It's really just a matter of getting more time to play on it. I really did only get the one weekend. Uh, I, did, I did pretty well. I had some opportunities to lose, and I was able to pull it out, and um, you know, really felt confident on that table the entire time I was playing. Um, it seemed like everybody else was playing their game too, and it was really just a battle of the minds versus a battle of who can adjust on the table the fastest. Um, uh, overall, very good job. Um, I know that their goal was to really get this table out, start promoting it in uh, both Europe and China, and I do wish them the best. I think that it will be a success. I think this table will be very good for new players. They're going to be able to jump on this game and learn it very fast, opposed to like Garlando is like an absolute impossible game to try to learn fast. And even Tornado, it's hard to get on that table and compete because the ball is so slippery. So a big key to getting new players, I believe, in this game right now is having a ball that is very easily adjustable and you, you can uh, get used to it very fast. You can learn how to grab it super easy. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I think there should be different levels of balls for different levels of players. I think a beginner uh, match should have a completely simple ball, a super grippy ball, kind of like what they had there available, maybe even a little bit grippier. And uh, a master should have a little bit more of a slippery ball so that it takes precise um, movements and um, you're able to, only the best can play with that ball. Um, you know, this is something that over time may get incorporated if uh, I end up doing anything with foosball larger than just being a player. Um, but ultimately, the Guardian table, I would give, um, honestly, for the first round, a, a, a an A- minus or a B plus. Um, you know, I think that they had some improvement with just making it an overall better quality table. Um, although, at the time, it was still a dang good table, uh, especially for the price point that they were originally selling it for. I'm not sure what their new price point is, but um, I think, honestly, it could be a table that that could unify the entire game if they do things right and if people accept it. Um, we've been, as foosball players, we've been waiting for a table that can be one with everyone, where everybody can jump on it and go, wow, I can play my game on this table. And this one could be that with just some simple adjustments. Um, once again, thank you guys for bringing me over and giving me that opportunity. It was an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, I do wish you guys the best, and uh, please keep me updated as uh, things go on. I'd love to, to hear what's, what's happening. So thanks, Foos World, and I'll catch you all later.